Welcome to PrairieFoxSurvival.com. I'm Richard, and today we're going to be canning up some beef riblets. And we're doing these cold packing, and what we'll do after we can them, it'll be for 75 minutes, and we're not going to put anything on them. Now, we could cook them, and then we could put our barbecue sauce on them, but we would rather just go ahead and can them in a cold pack, and from there, then when we're ready to eat them, we can just put them in a pan, heat them up on the grill or whatever, and put our barbecue sauce or whatever we want to add to them. So, we're going to start filling some of these, and it's going to be a little bit different because we, we're just kind of having to mash them down a little bit more. Okay, and we do want to leave about one inch on this. And I am, and some of these, going to have to cut them a little more, get them in the jar. But the good part about this is we don't have to have water with them. do up two or three of them here and show you and then we'll cut the film and finish up the rest of them. Now we don't even add any seasoning in these when we're doing it and the reason for that is is because of the different ways we like to cook them. Okay what we're going to do here, now we'll go ahead and fill the rest of the jars. I hate to watch a video where somebody makes you watch filling every single jar. It just makes it, it seems like it takes forever. Definitely want to wipe our rims here. And then, going to get our lids out. sterilized her jars. And we're going to be canning because we don't have a full canner of 16 jars with just these. We are going to be canning some extra cold pack meats with it, such as a big roast and all that. And folks, we'll get back to you as we get these ready and we'll get them in the canner and we'll show you the results of what we end up with. We finally got our cans out of the, our jars out of the canner, and the riblets here in the front row, they're looking very good. They're hot and still popping. And if you can maybe zoom in on them, I'll try picking them on up there. Let's see. Can you see that thing? Yeah. Okay. And they haven't been out in a couple of minutes, so. We have our riblets going, and with that, just in order to fill up the canner, we went ahead, we had a rump roast that we did up, and we also had a little more bratwurst, which we, bratwurst, which we like for breakfast. And I have, at, right after Christmas time at the store, besides our wild pig that we had in the freezer that hasn't been uh, cooked or anything, they did have spiral hams go on. They were selling $32 and $3 hams for $8 and $9. And so we bought two of them. And we did can one can of these today. And I'm going to see if I make a video of it. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that, Dean? And I'm going to give it an hour or two and open it up and see if it's going to be worth canning. Of course, with this one like this, all this other you see makes its own juice because it was a cold pack. With this one, the hams are cooked from the store, so you do have to add water to them. So with that, I want to thank you for coming to PrairieFoxSurvival.com, and I look forward to seeing you the next time.